together with diamonds in our hands. Hello, viewers. Uh, welcome back to uh, another one of my videos. Um, if you missed my last video, it was relating to the Y axis. Um, the y-axis wobble that some of you may have had with the v3 um, part work 3d printer um, so check out the uh, i'll put a link in the description below uh, if you missed that and you'd like to know more about that uh, please like uh, share and subscribe um, okay we're moving on today something else i wanted to, uh, to talk to you about and that was issue 91 now in this one it includes the extra fan that you have on the side of the extruder. Now I think it was an afterthought because on the original plans that wasn't present so they must have thought about it and added it as an afterthought. Uh, however it's not quite doing the job I, I believe it's supposed to do. Um, and in fact, for a lot of cases, myself and my good friend, um, who I built his printer for, um, both had the same issue, <clears throat> where the heat, the sorry, the extruder wasn't heating up hot enough to start a print job. Because you've got this extra fan on the side, <clears throat> it's blowing directly onto the nozzle, so when the nozzle gets about 180 degrees, it won't get any hotter. So to print with PLA, it's, it is around 180 to 210, but it won't even get to 190 um, <clears throat> because this fan is just cooling it down too much. So today I'm just going to talk about what I've done to rectify this and another issue uh, that was present with the... Uh, with this design so um, yeah there we go the second issue I had with this this design uh, which I think most of you will have when you fit the scoop that attaches to the bottom of the fan the screws that you attach the actual secondary fan to through these brackets they're not flat screws they're like domed so the nozzle will not fit snug onto the bottom of the fan so let me just take this apart and i'll show you what i've done and also another while i think about it another issue with this when you try and calibrate your printer you'll find that this plastic uh scoop part will hit the your print bed um especially in the corners so when you're trying to calibrate it, you're not getting a true reading because it's pushing, it's pushing the um, extruder up or the bed down. So you're not getting a true calibration. So what I've actually done is I've had to use a Stanley knife and cut the corners away slightly just to make room for the screws that are protruding from the bottom of the fans. So now when you put it on, The screws don't get in the way and then that fits nice and snug so that's the first thing I had to do with that um, whether they're going to rectify that I, I, I'm not sure so in order to fix this this issue with it cooling the nozzle down too much what I'm gonna do is take this fan disconnect the fan from the uh, extruder control board and then just unscrew that back off of the brackets, just like so. Okay, so that's the fan off. Undo slightly these two screws. And then what you need to do is twist the brackets round and tighten them up so they're facing the opposite side and you can probably see where I'm going with this now with that done just tighten them up a bit 
you can now attach your fan. Make sure the wire is at the bottom, or the bottom left. You can now attach your fan at a different angle, so it's so it's like that on on the extruder. Screw that back on through the brackets. On there. And one there. There you go. So now your fan is facing upwards. Obviously reconnect your fan up to the board. Like so. And then attach your scoop like you did previously and screw that on. And that's it, done. So now what you'll find is the air is blowing downwards instead of directly onto the nozzle. So it'll fix two problems. One, the scoop will not get away, the, the fan will not get in the way of the print bed when you're trying to calibrate. And two, the fan will actually cool the project down while it's printing instead of the nozzle to stop the nozzle getting hot enough. Um, so it'll solve that issue. And, and the other issue as well. So this has been tried and tested and it works very well. Um, as the filament is extruding, it will cool it down as it's coming out, rather than cooling the nozzle down too much that you can't even start a print job. And that seems to be a very good fix. Um, and yeah, that's, that's how I've done mine. Hi. So yes, hopefully that has um, help some of you out um, in regards to any problems with your extruder or, or, or um, heating problems and especially calibration problems um, that's what I found to work really well and um, yeah I hope I hope it does for you um, that's it for this video um, there will be some more coming um, there's a few other little things I'm going to talk about um, but yeah thank you for watching I hope this has helped you um, and um, yeah I'll see you soon don't forget to like subscribe and share that'd be great and um, yeah have a good day we were one together with diamonds in our hands